Okay, now City Power went on a mission in Alexandra today, switching off power to all non-paying customers in the area. The Jobek power supplier is out to recoup half a billion rand that's owed to it, and it has taken a hardline approach towards defaulters. This year, Jobek City Power cut off clients at several suburbs around town, and today they went back to Alex, and that is where... Shonim Tumkulu found herself earlier, but she's back now to tell us exactly what happened. Shoni, welcome back and uh, from Alex. So what has City Power actually said about what's happening in Alex and why did they go back there today? Yeah, so they went back to um, Alex, this time not the residential side of um, Alex and not just Alex Britain, but also the areas around it. So like Lindhurst was also the uh, Ilova actually, which is also supplied by the depot in Alex as well. Uh, Q, Bramley, so around there. And they went to the businesses in the area around there. And basically uh, they, they are owed money. And you know, there are big sums of money that are thrown around by uh, City Power. But this specific Alex branch, um, there's something like half a, a half a billion rand that is owed to it. Uh, and then also so the entities that they targeted today owe them 15 million, 10 to 15 million rand. So they basically want to recoup some of that money. They want to uh, ensure that there are people that are paying, their customers are paying. I think a big issue is going to be around how they ensure that people are not reconnecting themselves. Because when we were out there today with City Power, uh, there were people who had been switched off before in a previous operation, but they had simply uh, found someone. Uh, City Power officials actually said these people are probably our own subcontractors and they had reconnected the businesses. So you're getting a fee to reconnect and yet you're getting paid by City Power to reconnect, you know. So there's all of that. But basically, yeah, they do want to get some of that money that they are owed back by this area, but also, of course, uh, in the bigger scheme of the country. But let us hear from uh, the, uh, an official from City Power in terms of today's operation, Britain. We are owed um, a total amount of 510 million. Today we are aiming to collect uh, 10 million rands. This property that we are at today, it owes us 2.9 million. The last time they made payment was in December 2022. So we cut them off completely. Then they will come and make a payment before we, we restore their power. Um, mostly we target those that owe us a lot of money, uh, mostly businesses, because they are making money and they are not giving us money back in, into our entity so that we can be able to, 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 to service the supply to them. We will continue monitoring them and come visit the sites so that they check if they did not uh, connect themselves illegally. So it's going to be a continuous thing to come and check if they connected themselves illegally or they are still without power. And then if you find that they, discon they connected themselves legally again, then we do another level of disconnection, which they call level three disconnection. We take the breakers and then we take the, the, the supply cable. And what about the businesses? What, what are they saying about being plugged off? Yeah, so it's such a funny thing because it seems that uh, ESCOM goes, or City Power rather, goes through this whole process with these business owners, with the residential areas even, where you kind of warn that you haven't paid and then there's a process, but then for whatever reason, uh, the money isn't paid. Uh, and then when they start coming to you and when they're about to switch off, then suddenly you're getting phone calls being made. Uh, they're getting, saying that uh, we have the proof of payment, we'll send you the proof of payment. But the thing is, the team that's on the ground, they are not uh, responsible for the admin of all the payments. Yes. So they're just there. They've been told, come switch off. They're, they're just technicians. Exactly. They're not mm. there to negotiate with the owners. And so today, uh, there was a residential property within a, an industrial area, pretend. So basically, a factory had been turned into a block of apartments. Uh, the owner was not happy about what had happened. There was also a commercial property owner of like a uh, DIY store, basically, or he owns uh, a, a whole complex there where there are different DIY stores there. And he complained and he said, we lo We've lodged a complaint. We've spoken to people about this. We're trying to resolve it because we've been overcharged. But let's hear directly from him, Bretan, in terms of what his issues um, are in terms of today's operation. Lodged a complaint against this bill that was overcharged and incorrectly charged, and we have phoned them several times and submitted proof to them that the billing charge was totally incorrect by at least 150,000 Rand. The average account is 30,000 Rand. They are now asking me to pay them 350,000 Rand 
which is not affordable to me or to my company. We have officially lodged a complaint. We have lodged a complaint with a professional company called Swicker's Property Solutions. They've also lodged the complaint. And despite that, we are being held to ransom. We're being hijacked by City Power and being told that they're going to cut off the electricity to the businesses that are running here, despite incorrect readings that have been measured and incorrect billing. A business owner there in that area where City Power today was dealing with the defaulters, ending that update by Opungane, Tony Mtimkulu. Now